Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today what I have for you guys is another video game review. I haven't done a lot of these, but uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more in the future. And today what we're going to be doing is, if you read the title, we will be reviewing the Lego Movie 2 video game for the Xbox One. Now, um, just before I get into this review, I do want to say that there is an unboxing video, as there and there is two game, and there are two gameplay videos on the channel. There will be more coming, so if you haven't seen those yet and you want to see some footage on the Lego Movie 2 video game, definitely check out the channel because uh, you know you'll get some cool content there. But uh, another thing I want to say is that most Lego games tend to get mass hatred. Now I'm not quite sure why. I'm not biased toward the Lego games. I, um, you know, I don't just go, oh my god, a Lego game, ten out of ten. Um, for me, a game and a movie they have to earn my liking, and the Lego games, all of them, for the most part, have earned a perfect 10 out of 10, or at least a 9.5 out of 10, or sometimes an 8, you know, if you saw my review for the Lego movie video game and the Lego Ninjago movie video game, you will see that those have, you know, not 10s, but they're still good games, but today, um, so, so, so basically, you know, all these Lego games are getting terrible reviews for no reason, in my opinion, I think they're all great, however, this one is getting really bad reviews, like, crap reviews, now, Again, I don't trust anyone's opinion but myself. So what I'm going to be doing is giving you my review. And uh, it's a lot more positive than what everyone else is saying. Um, because I have reasons. Now, it's not a 10 out of 10. I'll tell you that right out of the gate. However, I'm going to you know, briefly talk about why. Um, so basically, the, 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 the best things about the LEGO Movie 2 video game are the graphics. Yes, it doesn't look as good as Le uh, LEGO DC Super Villains. Some of the cutscenes don't. They look almost like beta cutscenes, so the graphics aren't the best here, but they're not bad at all, and they're not mediocre. Um, but, I mean, comparing that to, uh, again, LEGO DC Super Villains, I just think that that game looks a little more crisp and, like, neater and more polished. Uh, but that's not to say this game looks terrible. It looks really good for a LEGO game. Um, of course, the, like I said, the cutscenes look a little weird, but other than that, the graphics are pretty fine. The graphics really do stun, uh, stun and shine when you know, you're in one of the hub worlds, and there are a lot of hub worlds, which is another thing I'm going to talk about. But when you're in these areas, they look beautiful. I mean, they look freaking amazing. I mean, it looks great. That's all I'm going to say. The graphics look okay in some parts, but then when it really comes down to the gameplay and the actual, like, stuff you're playing, it looks phenomenal. Just the cutscenes could use a little bit of work. Um, now, of course, the gameplay. Uh, most LEGO games are pretty accessible for, you know, a 10-year-old and up, or whatever. Of course, these games are meant for all ages, so, you know, 10 and up, duh. Um, but again, it, it, it can't be too challenging for kids, but also too easy for an adult or a teen. And I think the LEGO games have always really found that sweet spot for the puzzles and the action. Uh, but this one feels a little bit easier. Now, I did think LEGO The Incredibles was a little easy and simple, but this game's very simple. Now, I'm actually, uh... As of recording this, I am not done with the LEGO Movie 2 video game yet. I'm still working on it. Um, but, I'm taking my time. But, essentially, it's a very quick game. You know, the the campaign you rush through in a second, really. Um, it, it really isn't a campaign. I mean, that's another negative thing that I'll get into in a sec. But, essentially, you know, you breeze through it, and then you're all done. And you're like, oh, well, that was it, you know. But, it's still a great game. Just because it's short doesn't mean it's a bad game. Now, of course... Um, what are, what are the positives? I mean, again, it looks great. It's got a great gameplay as always. You know, the Lego formula, smashing and bashing everything, collecting studs. This time you're collecting bricks as well. Kind of like Lego City Undercover. Um, you know, you smash like a table or a chair or a bush or something, or you kill an enemy, and sometimes they'll pop out bricks. But other times, you can find these chests, kind of like Lego Worlds. Or if you kill an enemy, say, uh, I think I killed one of the Duplo raging, or charging Duplo characters. And, um, you know, it spat, it spit out like a, a relic. Now, here's where I was talking, if you saw my gameplay videos, I talk about kind of like a No Man's Sky feel or Lego Worlds feel. Basically, you destroy, or you kill an enemy, or you destroy something, and you get a relic. Now, this game has loot boxes, but they're good loot boxes. You know why they're good loot boxes? Because you don't have to pay real money for them. It's not a scam. I'm looking at you, Battlefield and Battlefront and Call of Duty and FIFA and all the other bullcrap. The Lego Movie 2 video game has a loot box system where you pay using studs and through gameplay exploration. So you're walking around, open a chest, you'll get two, two item relics. Then you go to one of the hub worlds, which there are many. You go to one of the shops, which there are many, and you unlock an item. Now, if you get a duplicate, say you already have that ice axe or the, the fire battering or an elven sword or a gun or whatever, um, you don't get, you're not like, oh, screw you, you're done. You know what I mean? You don't, it's not like that. You actually get these things called shards. And when you get a shard, 
you can basically use that, and once you get enough shards, you can get a Mega Relic. And when you get a Mega Relic, you're basically guaranteed to get something new every single time. Now, what's really cool to get Mega Relics are the hearts. If you remember from LEGO Worlds, you had the Troublemakers. Uh, when you get a Troublemaker, you get a certain item that you don't have. Same thing with this game, except it's the heart. It goes, hello, and it blows up. So, again, gameplay is really good. Even though it's a little more simple, it's still plenty entertaining and really addictive. So, um, that's the positives. You know, just like every LEGO game, great graphics for the most part. Um, you know, awesome gameplay, awesome co comedic moments, amazing hub worlds, way better than the LEGO movie video game, ten times better. This game is so much fun to just run around and look at everything and explore. It's awesome. Now, as far as negatives, um, this game does have a few negatives, but they're not that bad. Um, the first one is, of course, going to be the graphics, but I already mentioned that. The second is going to be the story. Now, this is the LEGO Movie 2 video game, not LEGO Worlds 2. However, it kind of is treated like LEGO Worlds 2. You know how every LEGO game that's based on something has like a fantastic campaign that you want to replay over and over and over again? This game doesn't have that. It has an okay campaign, but it's too quick and it's too it's too all over the place. So, you know, really, the cutscenes, Lucy, who is not voiced by Elizabeth Banks, uh, basically narrates the game, but Emmett doesn't talk. Queen Whatever at Wanabi doesn't talk. No one talks, really, in the cutscenes except for Lucy. So the, the story is all over the place. It's not that good. It's still fun to play through, but as a story, it's not that great. Um, and then, of course, you get... Uh, what was it? The characters. That's it, the characters. Now, this game is the worst, in my opinion, for any LEGO game in terms of characters. I love these characters in this game. Like, I love getting characters from the LEGO movie and, you know, and the LEGO movie 2 and all that stuff. It's fun to unlock characters. It's fun to play as the characters, just like every LEGO game. But it's less fun in this game because every character does the exact same thing. So when you get Harley Quinn and she does her ground slam, it's the same thing as Green Lantern or Superman or Lex Luthor or The Flash or Batman or, or Wonder Woman or, uh, uh, I don't know, Vitruvius, President of Business, Emmett, Lex Danger Vest. They're all the same. Same running, same ground pound, same attack for the most part. A few characters have a few different things, mainly the main characters. But, you know, every Lego, like in Lego DC Superman, for example, Batman can do something completely different to, say, Owlman or Superman or, you know, Joker, Harley Quinn, Raven, whatever, and the DLC characters. This game, I, th I think that's probably why they charged $40 instead of $60. Um, but, again, it is what it is. Those are pretty small complaints, but... Again, it just hinders the experience from not being perfect, a 10 out of 10 for me. Again, though, this game is so much fun to play. If you're looking for a great LEGO game, do not trust anyone else. I mean, you only trust yourself, but if you're really looking like, mm, should I buy this? Everyone hates it. Um, I'd say at least give it a shot. Wait for it on a sale. Buy it for 40 bucks. It's definitely worth 40 bucks. Trust me, you get a, a pretty good campaign-ish. You get a lot of characters. Even though they do the same thing, it's still fun to run around as them. You get cool vehicles. Um, you get... Awesome hub worlds that are so much fun to return to. You get awesome quests. You get so many comedic things. It's kind of like Lego Worlds in a sense that you build things without brick by brick building things. So again, it's it's like a mix of like it's really like Lego Worlds two with the Lego Movie two characters in it. But again, that's not the worst thing. But so I'm gonna give the Lego Movie two video game a what should I give this thing? I'll give it a B plus. Normally I give Lego games an A plus or an A minus or an A, but again, just because the characters, the graphics, and some of the story doesn't really, you know, pop and handle as well as it should, um, again, it's not a rushed game, it's not like they just like, oh, screw it, we'll put it together, but certain things that they opted out of doing, I think they could have done, and it really wouldn't have taken much more development time to do that, I can't imagine, but anyway, I still love this game, it's such a blast to play, and I'm gonna play it forever and ever, just like every LEGO game, um, but again, tell me what you guys think in the comments, if you have the LEGO Movie 2 video game, uh, for what console? I have it on Xbox One, of course, and I have had no glitches so far, no freezing, uh, no Mega Relic opening issues, nothing like that. Hopefully, hopefully that will not happen. And hopefully if it does happen for PC, um, Switch, in whenever that comes out, and PC, uh, and Xbox, um, you know, TT Games will fix that. They're, they're normally pretty good about fixing things, um, but, you know, again, it is what it is. I love this game. It's so much fun. But again, there's just a few little things in there that keep it from being a pitch-perfect game. But anyway, guys, thank you so much uh, for watching. And again... Leave me a comment if you liked the game and what you liked and disliked about it. And we'll see you guys in the next video.